Patrick Watt. This is Sir P. Now, today I'm going to be talking about one of your favorite lawyers, him. a man by the name of Patrick Bailey. He has now been disbarred. That means uh, he's no longer allowed to legally enter any rum bar anywhere in Jamaica. This man, after going in front of the disciplinary committee of the General Legal Council, he come to the conclusion say, he can't operate in Jamaica as a lawyer anymore. The one time the news first dropped, and my seat say, Patrick Bailey disbarred. I thought to myself, hold on, it look like there's a breakthrough in the Junior Jermaine case. Now, if your memory is short, I'll jog it. That was the incident where a man by the name of Junior Jermaine lost his life. His body was found in Patrick Bailey's house. One of the spookiest cases I can remember in recent history. Not just because of who Patrick Bailey is, not just because of the circumstances surrounding the killing, but because of the quote unquote investigations that took place afterwards. But before we start out with an AP with an item, I want to send a special Patreon ready shout out to none other than David Thompson. So, David, we don't know you got ready. God well, bless you up for your birthday. Wish you nothing but the best. Enjoy yourself. Live long, prosper. Remember, every day, Every single day, my tab telling you, every single day is a blessing for her. Don't take it for granted. You know, so even though you're a special day, you still have tune in, see me early in the morning, as usual. So big up yourself and big up the whole family, see? Alright, bless. Now come over to the video. Now, before I tell you why I'm this barring, let me tell you why I say that case is one of the spookiest ever. Imagine, this man, Junior Jermaine, was found in Patrick Bailey's house, multiple stab wounds and even a gunshot was fired. Gunshot. Patrick Bailey said he quote unquote stumbled across the body in the early morning after four. Stumbled across the body. Yes, that means say, the gunshot never wake him. So I would love it if Patrick Bailey would tell us which brand met the bed where him sleep on. When shot for your outside the yard, it's enough to make a jump up and start running and hide. Now imagine a bed so comfortable that the gunshot can fire in your house and you still sleep through like a baby. Is it Pastor Pedic? Or one of the ones where, you know, the cloud one them when, when they lie down upon it, you come like any one cloud. Whatever the case may be, I need the Amazon link ASAP. So, right after them find the man body. Immediately was declared, say, Patrick Bailey is not even a suspect. Remember, the police said there were no signs of forced entry. In other words, the body not tear off the grill, the body not broke out no window. Man gets stabbed up in the yard, gunshot fire. Irie. Extraordinary case, even to this day. I'm at the park right after it happened. Him doctor come out and say, He's feeling unwell, you know, them afraid to say might, you know, take sick, so they might put him on some bed rest. Those were interesting times for those of you who remember this case. So now, fast forward, 2022, Patrick Bailey disbarred. And as I look through the case, expecting to hear about the June and Jermaine incident, I get to realize that it had nothing to do with that. It turns out as some missing money business. It turns out that people get chopped. May I read this up on Nationwide? It said GLC strikes Patrick Bailey from the role of attorneys again. The first case, that's the one I me see come out of the papers. That's around him, right? Some money that he failed to hand over to a client. US $17,640. Now, if you want to know how much that is in Jamaican dollars, you have to go to the match because I can't do it when I go to school. So, Patrick Bailey, according to this, all I'm paying the people their money. No more hand it over. Claim some money in a trust and you know your money to the right man and people try to get by the money, can't get it back. The following day, him get struck off again. This time for 999000 Somebody hand it over. Business supposed to go on. You know where it go? Man send money to them lawyer. Lawyer supposed to hold on for money because they you know, a complete purchase of land and all that kind of things. 
Next thing you know, all kind of shaking is start going. All kind of excuses. Man file complain and them struck off Patrick Bailey again. Right, he was found to be in breach of Canon 7B subsection 2, which speaks to failing to account for monies in hand. Interesting, so money business make them strike off Patrick Bailey. Well, I'm telling this right now. If the GLC was to start dig up the funny period lawyer them, it would be hell and poor house. So even though Patrick Bailey had the headlines this time, of course they don't know say he's not alone. Many of your favorite big time lawyers, if you never know them I want with. And I'm not even just talking about the missing money and who take funds and now run on funds and who claims the funds are missing and all kind of things. That's just the missing money part. When you talk about the criminal part of it. So, what you can learn from this Patrick Bailey case, and I'm not talking about the Juna Jermaine case, which, of course, you're more likely to see snowfall in downtown Kingston, that's something come out of that case. But in terms of the missing money part, when time on the favorite lawyer, them start telling them to be a foolishness, and I tell you, all oh, the money over here, so, and the money over here, so, don't bother a long talking. Don't bother in a back and forth and a whole heap nice. Just contact, right, the GLC. General legal accounts. Clearly, there's a precedence for lawyers right, getting disbarred because the mum was shaky and they not deal with them thing honestly. Because clearly, there's a precedent for lawyers getting disbarred when time money business starts to go wrong and them can't explain what is what. So, don't hesitate to contact GLC if you're in a similar situation. But one thing may I wonder to owe its own. It's basically robbery or theft. If somebody have money while you're one and no one on it over, can't you charge them for like robbery or theft or so? I mean, I don't know. Again, I'm just a little YouTuber. So there you have it. One of Jamaica's former top lawyers right? represent all kind of people, big wigs, big shot lawyer. Can't even operate as a lawyer anymore. Some of the biggest rackets were run at Jamaica. Lawyers involved in it. If they not do it themselves, they might advise the people they might do it. If they think they look like a regular criminal, yeah, understand the law to the point that they can navigate it, let me feel a unicorn. When they see man sidestep the law and just a move through it and a slice through it like hot knife through butter, man would even know if to spell the word law, are experts at navigating the law. Them can't tell you what's 2 plus 2. But you can tell about some loopholes in the system where you have to ask yourself, Oh, you know that? Where are you that? Well, him lawyer tell him. A money business. Anyway, you trust God, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, more life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.